Hi, so what I got here is the Gorilla Ladders MPX22 and I'm going to show you a close up of the mechanism and also the rungs and what makes it stable. So let me go ahead and show you the build quality here. So from the uh, length or width of this, this is 15 inches across and you can see at the bottom there's a flare. So it flares wide out and that is 26 inches. So what that does is that gives you a lot of sort of stability. Now the other thing that's a little bit different that has these sort of uh, you know twist mechanism that does the locking is this triangular design here. So if you really look at how this is actually created, so let me go ahead and do another quarter turn for this. You can see the thickness of the bar itself. So the bar is actually about half an inch. And if I push this up, you can actually see the hole. So if you look at the hole, that's what locks it in place when it fills it in. But because it is a guided mechanism. So I do have the Warner ladder and I'll show this side by side, uh, the Warner ladder against this Gorilla ladder later on where you could actually see what makes this a lot more stable. So this ladder in particular is rated 375 load capacity while the Warner ladder that I have is actually 300 and it's uh, these little details that makes the difference. So let me go ahead and lock this in place. So with, with this triangular mechanism you don't have to be as precise because it is a guided mechanism so you can see it locks in place here. Now for these uh, for, for the storage when you push these in, and I know I have my thumb, when you push this in, um, you, you could actually collapse it. So collapsing it, you know, or you, you could flare it back out, in which case it'll lock in place like that. Um, now the other thing I want to mention as far as transporting this, this is 40 pounds um, and it seems a lot heavier because of the distribution of the weight when you're actually transporting it. But what you do is you merely put your shoulder against this while you're transporting it and that it's actually pretty light or you carry it horizontally. Um, the other thing I do want to mention is these bars here. And so you want to be careful when you, you don't want, want to actually get a finger stuck here because of how easy this mechanism is to unlock and lock. Um, you know, sometimes you have to be a little bit more deliberate because you're, 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 you're gonna uh, basically cut off your finger or jam your finger because of this, you know, extra bar that is in place here. Now, these, these things are named uh, a little bit deceptively. So, for example, this one is MPX22. And the MPX22 is actually not 22 feet. It's actually 18 feet and 10 inches. So uh, what you do want to look at here, and let me show you uh, the details here. So this, by the way, is a limited lifetime warranty. Um, but what you do want to notice here, for example, is that uh, for the extension ladder, this is 22 feet, and it's 22 feet basically from the third rung. So it's, it's from the third rung here, which, which they consider which, which they consider safe. So that's the third rung uh, right there. And if you stand on that, they consider it safe. But the 22 naming convention for these is uh, somewhat of a marketing scheme because it's actually the height of the average person standing on the third rung. So the reach itself is 22 feet, but the ladder itself is actually 18 feet, 10 inches. And, uh, you know, just be a little bit aware of that. Now for the most common scenario as far as the indoors is the twin step ladder. And that is a reach of 13 feet 2 inches at the third rung. And uh, the actual height from the tip of the ladder to the floor is actually 9 feet 5 inches. So just be a little bit aware of that. And I am just going to scroll through this so you could... Uh, slowly take a look and if you have to pause the video just to see some of the specs uh, go ahead and do that but I do want to just show you okay these are the different alignments 
and they do sell this as a 28 position. Those are just the, you know, uh, height, height adjustments, uh, which equals the 28 positions. Um, in any case, uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you a little bit closer up of the rungs themselves. So it is, it is a double, you know, it does have a double step here. So that's very convenient. Um, some of the riveting that makes it uh, rate it a little bit higher as you, you can see there's the riveting here. And also, if you look at the legs, the legs themselves are a little bit flared out. And they do have the rubber, the rubbery protection here. So if you're doing this indoors, um, you could be assured that it won't scratch your hardwood floors. If you're using it outdoors, uh, you know, the support you're placing it on is, um, you know, non-skid. So just keep that in mind. Um, so just going through some of the rungs here. And, um, you know, just trying to give you a close up of, of sort of like the, the heavy duty construction. But this is, you know, more than adequate for a do it yourself -er, I would say. But um, that's really it. That's really what I wanted to show. And I hope this helps. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.